When the phone rang at my house, I thought it was someone I owed money to. <laughs> the ground you, six four diamonds raises the sixteen hundred. Cool. Do you notice what's cool. happened here? What? Meatloaf has left the building. <laughs> oh no! Like a bat out of hell, he's gone. How soon they forget. <laughs> I guess he's cold and he's covered up uh, his shirt with a jacket. All spades on the flop. Doyle's got a pair of nines. Make a straight flush with the seven of spades. Holman's got an open-end straight draw with a jack of spades. And Daniel bets with a pair of sixes. He bets 1,500. Holman could have raised. He's got the button, but chooses to just call. Will Doyle raise? Nope. Nope. Ace of spades on the turn. Doyle checks his flush. Very interesting. The one guy that doesn't have a spade right. comes out betting 5,500. Now, Holtman is thinking Daniel's betting into two people. He's got the third best hand. King of spades or queen of spades would beat him, and either one of these guys could have it. He's going to call, but I don't see him raising. Cool. Yeah, he calls. And I think Dawes going to let his eight of spades go. There's another six for Daniel. An inconsequential six. I think Daniel is pretty sure where Holtman is at. That he's got like the jack of spades. Maybe a hand like Doyle had. The eight of spades. And when world-class players smell weakness, they mm. act on it. <laughs> and that's exactly what Daniel is fixing to do. Yep. That's 36,000. Bet's 36,000 just like he had the king of spades. 36,000. Yes. Holtman is in a tough spot. When you're not used to playing with players at this level, it's hard to believe anyone would do this. Right. What should make him a little suspicious is that the board's paired. And Daniel's still making a big bet. Oh. Uh. It'd be nice if you bluffed. Nice if I bluffed? <laughs> <laughs> First big bluff of the season. Looks like things are heating up. 